Raypec community, we are here today at Raypec South Middle School here in the orchestra room talking to Kimber Westhoff, our orchestra teacher, not only here, but also over at the high school. Mm -hmm. Kimber, welcome. Thanks. Thank you for being on Staff Spotlight. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell me a little about yourself, because I know your journey here to RAPEC was for a specific purpose, and uh, you are blessing our kids that way. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I, I went to Lindenwood University just outside of St. Louis for my undergrad, um, and I had every intention of staying in the St. Louis community, but when the job opened up for RAPEC, um, I was in the middle, um, in between jobs and in between things, and was really looking for an opportunity to build an orchestra program. That was my dream, even though it felt very far off, yeah. <laughs> um, especially as a first year teacher. I'd never thought I'd get that opportunity. Um, but it opened up, and so I decided that I would apply and uh, cross my fingers that I'd get it. And then Luckily for me, um, they selected me to start this program, and so I've just been here ever since. So what was that like? A first-year teacher coming in to teach a brand-new program and mm -hmm. build it from the bottom up. So tell me what some of the joys and not so much joys of getting here, sure. and then we'll talk a little bit about the future. So tell me about the present. Yeah, it was, it was an interesting first year. Um, I went into it probably with my expectations being higher than um, it, maybe they should have been, but I think that allowed us to really dream big for the first year of the program. Um, and we just hit the ground running, and I knew as much as I could as a first-year teacher and knew what an orchestra program should look like and what I wanted it to look like, and then we just worked backwards from there. Um, and we've just been doing that for the last four years, even through – Everything with being hybrid on those school days and the challenges that presents, especially in an orchestra classroom, to continue learning their instruments whenever we're not in person. Um, and there was some fear in there of just losing the program during that time. Um, we worked really hard to keep our kids and to keep them excited and engaged about orchestra, even when we weren't together. Um, and now that we're finally back for the second year, um, getting to see each other every single day, things are just going stronger. So I had the opportunity to attend one of your concerts. Yeah. And it was yeah. uh, well done, and the kids looked like they were well engaged and everything. Mm -hmm. But in the future, we're going to have a new location for such concerts, and that's our Performing Arts Center that is under construction. What does that mean to you and the rest of our uh, fine arts department about what that uh, could possibly hold for the future of this district? I think it, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for us, not only – as a Ray Pet community to have um, a more sophisticated venue for our personal concerts, but to also invite other schools whenever we have district events for band or orchestra or theater or choir um, to get to host in a really wonderful facility that a lot of schools maybe don't have the ability to perform in. Yeah. Um, and then we will be able to hopefully have live music for our musicals where we can start to join our departments together rather than um, doing our own thing separately. That's one of the things that excites me the most is that yeah. collaboration between departments to mm -hmm. actually uh, put on a performance that's second to none. We have great yeah. fine arts and bring them bringing them together. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cool to watch that happen for the students. We may have some viewers today who uh, don't know anything about orchestra and think they, they can't be a part of it because their son or daughter has never played an instrument. Mm. Tell me a little bit about that. What? How do you onboard students into the orchestra program? So this year, um, actually in a few weeks, the fifth grade students from all the elementary schools will spend a day in our buildings, uh, one day for South, one day for East. And not only will they have the chance to get to see the middle school, um, but a big part of this day is showing them those performing groups they can be a part of. Sure. Um, and Mr. Jarrett and I here, and then Mr. Shoup and Mrs. Hensel at East, we have been working really hard to be able to allow all the students to try as many instruments as they're wanting to during that day. Um, and that gives all of the kids an opportunity to really see what they'd be interested in for sixth grade. So they get to choose their first instrument in sixth grade, and they spend the entire year learning those basics. And then every year after that, we go from there, and they just get better and better, and we get more and more engaged and connected. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Tell me about yourself as uh, you, far as your instruments, mm -hmm. how you have kind of connected with the community and, and continue to play. So tell me about you, the performer. Sure. Um, well, I started playing cello when I was nine. Um, and that was my first instrument. Now I play multiple instruments because I teach on all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but that is where my passion lies, is cello performance. Um, I actually had not intended to teach for most of my life. I wanted to 
do cello performance as a career. Um, but as I got older and saw the importance of the educator in that piece in my life, but also for the students, um, I saw myself being a part of that and I wanted to instead. So for performance for Ray Peck, um, I play with the St. or sorry, the Lee Summit Symphony. Sure. Um, I started with them this year working with that community. Um, and it's been great to invite students to come watch and they get to see myself and Mrs. Hensel in a performance setting rather than a teaching setting. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's excellent. You hit on it just a second ago, but I want to probe on it a little more. Mm -hmm. The reason you do what you do, your why, you talked about maybe you wanted to go as a performance career, mm -hmm. but then you thought about how much the educators had meant to you in your life. Right. Tell me a little bit about that, and why do you do what you do here in Ray Um, Like I said, I had a passion for cello first, and then education came later. Um, and now they seem to be intertwined. Um, a lot of my passion for playing, even as an adult, is now mixed in with what I get to do with my kids every day. Um, even though we are in an education setting, I a lot of my time with the students feels very collaborative and I'm less of the teacher and they're less of the student and we're more just creating music yeah. together, um, which is really nice to see that happen. Um, that's a kind of community I like to foster in this classroom. Um, and they have just as much weight in the conversation around what we do. Um, yeah, that's okay. hands-on based <laughs> learning. That's, that's great learning. Okay. That is exactly what we are trying to mm -hmm. accomplish here. So. Thank you for doing what you do. Yeah, Thank you for being course. part of this program, building it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to what the future holds for all of us. Yes, me too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Ray Peck community, that was Kimber Westhoff here at Ray Peck South Middle School. Tune in next time where we'll have another special guest. Until then, keep smiling, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>